turn the fans off <laughs> for the sake of everything. That's part three. Yeah. It's not going to be on the recording, so I think we're cool. Alright. And... Sync! Sawate! I am Jeffrey, and we are playing Equinox. That guy over there is... David. He's David. Welcome to part one of Deso. Right now we're going to take a quick trip to fight an ogre slash troll in order to get our shuriken... Extra life health upgrade upgrade thingy. thing. There we go. There's our troll. Yeah, not much to say about this. You just hit him in the chest, not like I'm like like that. There you go. You know, as I'm prepared to do a few times, he dies. You get an extra life. Yeah. There you go. And you got him. Proving your skill with the shuriken. You feel stronger. All right then. I'm going to go mosey on over to Deso. Deso is a sort of a Native American, like, sort of Mayan, sort of Aztec, just... Ink and ink everything. And just everything just kind of mixed together. Just big old Olmec heads. Woo! Should be able to do a little cut here. There we go. There we are. Movie replay, activate. All right, uh, the main, let's say, the main gimmick, or the new gimmick that's introduced in this level is, well, aside from even more Escher-esque uh, puzzles of perspective, uh, now the blocks have moving, they're basically like conveyor belts, although they don't look like they're moving. Like the ones I'm on right now, they are pushing me backwards, that's why I'm walking in place. So that that is the new gimmick for the for this entire level. I'd also like to point out you just caught a block with your head. Yes, I'll be doing more of that later. I'll be replacing Glendall's face with a uh, some sort of Mayan green Mayan thing. Uh, the the way that the layout of this dungeon is, uh, you'll be getting or you have the opportunity to get. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a little detour here. <laughs> <laughs> So one of the things that you can do in this level is you find a bunch of different white keys. Uh, there's about four or five, something like that. You only need two white keys to actually get to the boss. Uh, and you can actually make your way around all of the other white gates, like this one in, in this room here. You don't ever need to open it in order to get to the end of the level. I'll only be collecting two white keys, so that's all that's necessary to get to the end. And I'll actually be, actually be running around outside to the different entrances of the dungeon. Uh, unlike the last one, which I did all in, all just inside once at once. So the next one I'm going to, after I picked up those two tokens, I'm heading down to the lower right entrance. So, southeast. Lower right, the, yes, that would be southeast. southeast. There we go. Whee! And I'm going to pick up an additional two tokens. Now this is the dungeon where the isometric stuff gets really screwy, yes, right? Yes, it gets... Uh, very apparent. Uh, the way to do this, yeah, the, the ghost, although it will look like it will kill you, will get stuck at the edge of the portcullis there. Portcullis. Uh, portcullis. Yay. A fancy way to say gate. <laughs> and then you can ride it. So yeah, you can ride, uh, ride portcullises. Portcullis. 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 If you will, yes. That sounds like an alcoholic beverage. It might be. Uh, and you'll be doing that a number of times uh, for lots of other tokens, not just in this level, but the next few as well. Uh, enemies, uh, when you kill all the enemies in the room, sometimes they will drop an item, sometimes a token, like in the last level, Dear Tori. Lord. <laughs> uh, but in this level, they also drop things like, you know, uh, apples, apples, potions. Apples are awesome. As soon as you pick up the item that they drop, they will, they will not respawn when you come back in the room. So, so they're permadead. Yeah, permadead. See, now that I pick up the apple, those guys won't be coming back. However, we won't be coming back to this room, so it's kind of a moot point. Moot point. It is moot. <sighs> the sound I of wonder who makes. is 
I wonder who is sending him the letter. Mysteries of life. Much like where these purple eggs came from. And what they will hatch into. Now we're going to head off to the northeastern entrance, which is near the purple eggs. That would be in quadrant one. Yes, quadrant one. Yes. Woohoo! I do remember some basic math. I, it, maybe it is. I don't remember. It may be one. It may be two. <laughs> Who knows? This and new new type of enemy. Little tornado guys. Tornado spin around doggy. all crazy. Uh, eventually they'll stop. Yeah. And then you can just shoot them in the face repeatedly. Not necessarily tornado doggy. More like tornado battle toad. Yeah. Battle toad reject. Battle toads. We jump off that one there in order to catch the block. If not, you will. Uh, this is where they store um, all the Olmec heads. Yep, just in case you need a new one. Yeah, in case they need to remodel and try and get a new puzzle room. You know, that's where they go to find them. These are white tornadoes. Like all the enemies, the white ones take the most damage or take the most hits. And the spell for this dungeon is going to be the damage spell. It requires three points of magic to use, so one dot, one dot, and a half dot. One and a half dots. Wow. That's 1.5. 1.5 dots. There you go. 1. That is the amount dots. of dots. 1.5 dots. Now, is there anyone actually, or is, is there a point to killing that ghost? Uh, he will give you an apple. That's it. That'll, yeah, restore some of your health. That is all. Okay, well, I guess that might be... Useful ish. The damage spell is almost completely useless because of the amount of magic that it uses. Uh, I will be showing it off in a room up here in just a second, so that you can, well, you can see for yourself how how low the damage output is. Secret. Yes. Door. Yes. Doesn't Lots look like those. there's anything there, but there is. The best way to handle this room is to actually let the white ghost, which is not on screen yet, let him come by and then, yeah, make sure to kill him while he's over here. It's, it's going to make your life easier. Shoot, move. Shoot, move. Shoot and shoot. move. Shoot and move. How like life? Blue guys still just take five hits with the shuriken. Make sure not to get crushed by a port coast. It will result in death. <laughs> Thank you. That's, yeah. Thank you. What is the death sound? That is the death sound. That was me trying to uh, do a little speed running trick and failing. Well, it's not like this game is built for that. It's not, not really, but yeah. No. Those do not give you a token, so you do not need to kill them. I think they might give you an apple or something, but there's plenty of apples. Yeah, look. Do you even die in this part? Uh, I do. I think I do. Secret door. The secret door will lead you to -da -da, where I'm going to demonstrate the damage spell. Uh, you don't have to kill these guys, but I'd recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> Makes life just a little bit easier when you don't have death flying at you from all directions. If you, if you do what I did just now and push the block off just a little bit so that you can uh, squeeze Glendall in there, uh, the enemies will not be able to get you. But if you push it even a pixel or two further, they will be able to attack. So yeah, yay, they're dead, hooray. And now you have no magic. And I will never use that spell ever again. It's not even useful in any bosses? No, they, that's not how you damage bosses. Right, you gotta shoot them in the face. Yep. You gotta shoot them in the face, or whatever approximates their face. The, uh, the boss for this particular dungeon doesn't really have a face. He's just... This is one of the uh, white key rooms I was talking about. They're all side areas. Uh, in order to do this one, you just have to keep walking. Um, the the conveyor belts will alternate, pushing you one side to the other. So if you freak out yeah, and stop, you freak out die. and stop, you're going to die. That seems to be a lot of this game. Yeah, exactly. Don't freak out and stop, because you'll die. Uh, go back through the secret door. These things are also all conveyor belts, although you can't really tell. Very short and circular. And that was Glendall being a little confused and then finally going through here. Uh, here's a little Escher action. There's actually blocks stacked up all behind it. You leading just have up. to, yeah, leading up to it. And that is the seventh token, and that is the end of the first part. Now dance, Glendall. Glendall, dance. Dancing. 